All I want for Christmas is you. That's how the popular song goes. Well, it sounds nice, it sounds romantic. But what do you really want for Christmas? What do we really want for Christmas? For those who are troubled, for those for whom family is everything, for those who seek guidance on family matters, and for those for whom family matters. Here in Atma Darshan, we bring to you Atma Darshan's YouTube FM, Family Matters. A few days back, I saw a movie whose story revolves around Christmas. And towards the end of this movie, the key words were, we should be thankful because we are alive. And because we are alive, we can help each other. And helping each other is what makes us happy. And so, we should be thankful because we are alive and because we are happy. Christmas, basically, is a story of life and happiness. It all began when a simple couple chose to believe in their dream of life and happiness. Joseph had a dream to take Mary as his wife and he believed in that dream. Mary had a vision telling her that nothing is impossible for God and that she is going to be a mother. She believed in that vision. And because they believed in their dreams, we have the fullness of life being born to us and happiness open to all of us. That was 2000 years back. Today, all the more, we need this life and happiness. The pandemic has taken a lot from us. It has taken away our sense of security. It has taken away our jobs, our sources of income. It has taken away our celebrations. And tragically, it has also taken away many of our near and dear ones. However, what it cannot take away from us is our capacity to appreciate the gift of life in self and others and our ability to find happiness in reaching out to others. So how do we get to this fullness of life and happiness? Let's not go far. Let's begin with our families. The first thing I believe is to have a dream. Dreams are important. When a boy and a girl fall in love, they have a dream that this love will blossom and one day they'll be husband and wife. After marriage, they have a dream again that a child will be born to them. And when the child is born, they have a dream again for this child that one day she'll grow up and make her mark in the world. Without a dream, families may find it difficult to appreciate the fullness of life and happiness in each other. The book of Proverbs reminds us that without a dream, the people perish. Pope Francis exhorts us to dream with our families. Today, perhaps, there are too many families that forget to dream. Families where members are too busy with their cell phones or the internet or their own individual interests. Families where members don't reach out to one another. Families where instead of dreaming, the members are working hard to make a mountain out of the conflicts and misunderstandings that they may have. Dear friends, our ego, our pride, our arrogance, our unforgiving nature, these are not the things that will help us either to appreciate life or show us the way to happiness. Our life is fragile at its basic nature. We have seen this in the last two years. This Christmas once again offers us an opportunity to start dreaming again. The dreams of Joseph and Mary led to the fullness of life and happiness. Our ability to dream together and our ability to help out one another will determine the quality of our families and our world. When things go wrong and when we see chaos and confusion around us, we are tempted to say that our world or our country is going to the dogs. Let's remember that no country, no city, no village 
No community can go to the dogs if our families don't go to the dogs. Christmas is a time to find life and happiness in our families. It's the simple words of appreciation, the simple acts of kindness, and making time to do things together, whether eating, praying, or just talking. That really results in happy families or Christmas families. And so, this Christmas, let's hope that this is what we can really say to our wife, to our husband, to our child, our parent, our near and dear ones. All I want for Christmas is you. That I believe will be a wonderful Christmas. A wonderful, blessed Christmas to you all.